so about fruit she has made a, a document a document talking about domestic abuse that's what she made she has posted a lot of screen shots the document is about 90 pages long but overall it really is not that big of a deal to read because basically on most pages there's one huge screenshot in the end it's not that long it doesn't take that long to read this all i read through it all chat i've read through it all i've read i read it all it is her ex 100 percent an abuser 100% an abuser. Hi, YouTube. I don't think this is going on YouTube. I don't think I want to add more to the drama, man. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to the club. I don't think we're going to put this on YouTube. I just want to put you guys into the loop, <laughs> really. Maybe, maybe not. We we'll see. Probably not. Probably not. It's such a headache. The main reason... Chat, the main reason why I say I don't want to put it on YouTube is... Here, let me... Let me... Um, let me go to Camila. Uh, do you type her name with one L? Yeah, with one L. Um, here. It was a reply she had put out to Op Caddy Cat, to be exact. Let me find it. I had to delete my reply because a few people were hitting too close to home. I understand people being upset, but this? Really? Hope your mom dies from the tumor in her blood. It's what you deserve for supporting a cheating whore. This is what people have been getting. This kind of message. Up caddy a cat. Up God, God. She had made a post. Yeah, I think this is Up Cardi Cat's post about it. Where Camilla replied and then got the hate for it. So, the thing is, even Rosie got hate, chat. Even Rosie got hate. So many people have gotten hate. So there's a concentration of worst of society, that is true. So many people have gotten hate for this. Uh, this was after it or before? Yeah, after. Wishing the level of unkindness to someone because they said something nice to someone you dislike from allegations on the internet is beyond messed up. The meaningless existence. Cruelty is everywhere. Being kind-hearted is priceless. Okay, so let me explain to you why people are getting upset because i don't know if you guys have seen the clip from asman which he deleted now by the way because he he didn't grasp the entire situation he didn't grasp the entire situation because what most people were doing are crying out loud that oh but she's a cheater she cheated on her husband who was deployed she cheated with five men now, chat, let me tell you. We actually on stream have watched a video about fruit two, three months ago. I think I haven't gotten around to upload it. It's on my unlisted videos. It's by Depressed Nusagi. It's by Depressed Nusagi. I watched it. We watched it together. And before reading the document, chat, what I did before reading the document. I went ahead and rewatched the video. I went ahead and looked back into things. What was actually fact, what was true. And here's one thing I can tell you, chat. Here's one thing I can tell you. The thing that is happening. The people are crying, oh, but she's a cheater, blah, blah, blah. First of all, that doesn't make any of the things that her husband has done to her, her ex-husband, mind you, has done to her, okay. Nothing that he did to her is okay it is the purest form of emotional abuse as well as manipulative behavior it's textbook 
manipulation. It is so bad. And I, I'll tell you, read it on your own. Because most people in here have not read it. Let me tell you, most people here have not read it. The first few comments are all supportive. That's okay. Blah, blah, blah. Supportive, supportive, support. But when we scroll down a bit, when we scroll down a bit, we start getting to hate comments. Disgusting woman. Only mentally ill Twitter freaks support you. Uh, it hurts to see so many VTubers I like to completely lose my respect. I also noticed they're all female VTubers. The man you cheated on nearly offed himself. So you know what? He didn't nearly off himself. He did not nearly off himself. This person clearly hasn't read the document. This person is just taking the word from others. This person is just taking the word from others. He's just repeating what he's heard on Twitter, most likely. <sighs> he was threatening to off himself. He was threatening to do that. Is this not a privacy thing? Yes, exactly, it is. Like personal stuff between people involved. This is like the whole entertainment tonight, like of Sleaze with celebrity drama. Yes, 100% that. 100% that. It's that. Now the thing is, she did want to deal with this in private. Her ex-husband went public. Her ex-husband went public. Her ex-husband back in 2019, 2020, 2021, around that time. It's already been years old, chat. This entire thing is years old. Why did she publish it now? I don't know. I don't really care. She published it now. She probably wanted to like end that chapter of her life. She probably is still dealing with fucking trauma from that abuse. Now, let me actually get to the cheating part, okay? Let me actually get to the cheating part. Because I haven't found any other source than the one that I have looked at so far. I have not seen any other source than the one I've looked... The ones I have looked at so far. And the ones I have looked at so far is a friend of Fruits back then that... Okay, let me get the timeline correct. Let me get the timeline correct to not be confusing you guys and not myself. So... They constantly had emotional struggle. They both constantly had emotional struggles. To the point of that they had broken up a couple of times. You will low tier god yourself? What? I said so I wouldn't confuse myself. I don't know. Um, either way, they had constant um, struggles, fights, arguments to the point that he constantly broke it off with her, where they were not together. They were not together. And the thing that happened... The only thing that I could find that was written online that had receipts... The only thing with receipts was the guy that she was texting. She was texting with someone. Okay, and the person she was texting, there was... No intercourse happening. It was... She was jerking it, he was jerking it, and they were texting each other saying, Oh, I was thinking of you while doing that. That is what happened. The guy, the f her supposed friend, then went to her ex and told him about it. But from what I'm concerned, they weren't together even. They were not even together. She was... Maybe emotionally cheating, from what I understand. From what I understand, it could be pointed to emotional cheating, if even. I have not seen any other sources, any other receipts that she actually is a cheater. Her husband has said, on a Facebook post, by the way, that they are seizing their uh, ac uh, activities. They, they had some sales going on, where they were selling stuff, I think. 
uh, as uh, together as a unit basically and he was he was saying we're seizing this because she cheated on me to which she then made a response saying I did not sleep with someone I did not sleep with a man and that people took that as confirmation that she did cheat because so to speak that she called herself out because the other guy never said that she slept with someone but to me from what I'm getting is it's emotional cheating, if anything. Don't think this will help the healing, if anything, maybe the opposite judging by the current mixed reaction. The current mixed reactions, it's gotten out of proportion. Where does the Five Guys thing come from then? Someone pulled it out of their ass, I guess. I think, I think so. I think so. I think someone pulled it out of their ass. I have not seen any receipts for it. I've looked. I might just be fucking stupid, I'm blind, but I've seen... I don't... I didn't see any fucking receipts for Five Guys. I think it's something that just has spread so far as a rumor that it's gotten out of control. Of course, it's fucking Facebook. The lizard man has a lot of censorship, but not the false information rule. Yeah, Five Guys was a Gamergate thing, wasn't it? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, man. What is emotional cheating? Emotionally cheating is um, when you don't do... <sighs> How to explain this? Uh, probably getting emotionally connected with someone, but not physically. Yeah, in that sort of way, right? Five Guys is a burger place, right? I think so. Sex thing with someone else. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. You can count that as emotional cheating. Yes. Give guys a burger chain. <laughs> uh. I don't know where the entire thing is coming from that she's cheated on with five guys. I have not seen the receipts. I haven't. If you have seen the receipts, show them to me. Now the thing is why I haven't said anything on Twitter about it, it's because it's fucking Twitter brain rot. It's... People have been getting... So many fucking threats in their DMs. And I just CBA with it. Like, I can handle being insulted and shit, right? I just... It's too much. It's just too fucking much. Emotional cheating is basically being emotionally intimate with someone besides your partner in a romantic capacity. Yeah. I didn't comment direct for this because I'm not 100% what's going on and I don't have the energy to deep dive for more info. That's exactly my thoughts of it, right? That was exactly my thoughts on it too. That's why I didn't want to do anything on mm, Twitter. But I figured I should at least educate myself on what's going on. Emotional cheating, in my opinion, is a lot worse than just physical cheating. I can't tell if one is worse or not. Both are bad. I'm a puller and evil toaster here, but here but an abused very rarely cheats cause they are scared of the abuser hurt either one of them or both so i don't think that she cheated either i also feel like a lot is not adding up a lot is not adding up right also there's one thing chat that people are completely um growing out of um uh no me here this is what people completely put misinterpret. This is what people are misinterpreting. She, at this point, from what I've read in the document, they haven't even met up yet. At this point, they haven't even met up yet. At this point, there was no cheating. There was no cheating at this point in the fucking timeline. At this point in the timeline, there was no cheating yet. But this guy... Set. Now currently I'm back to wanting to uh, game end myself because you're not there for me and you won't be there if I need you on a moment's notice because apparently the internet is the ultimate barrier for you when it's never been one for me. They have been in a long distance relationship in here. He's in America, she's in the UK studying. Couldn't be cheating if they weren't together. That's what I'm thinking, man. That's what I'm thinking. Like, emotional cheating, sure. To a degree, if uh, she was also, like, texting the dude meanwhile, but... Yeah. 
No, the autonomy over her own body? Where is it? <laughs> this all started as a joke. I never ima imagined you would actually say no. That's what I'm the most upset about. Blacked out. Yeah, that's not happening. It, if it ain't missionary, it ain't authorized by army regulations. I'm gonna let my fear control me now. By the way, I think what he wanted to do was anal. Literally. And she didn't want that. That's what I think is going on. That's what I think is going on. Yes, army does regulate sex. It does. Can you tell us more about it a bit, uh, Greenie? Or are you making a joke? Why did she post this? Because to, sh to show how fucking abusive he is. Because he said he would fucking game at himself if she didn't let him do it in the fucking butt. It doesn't anymore? So just want to enter the barracks through the back door? Yeah, seems like it. But it's a private issue. It is a private issue. The thing is, it's already gone public. At this point, it's already gone public. I'm serious. Was in all I will need to find the regulations on it. All right, all right. Why does the world need to know? Because the world... Because the husband... Listen. The husband made it public. The ex-husband made it public. He made it public. And she already had an online presence then. She is defending herself. She's showing the world that he is a piece of shit. That he is emotionally abusing him. I never... Chat, look at this. Look at this one exactly. I've never fucked a woman blank. What do you guys think this says? What do you guys think this says? 100% this say says anally. 100% this says anally. With lights out. <laughs> 100% 100% man Make me choose between unconsented sex or getting cheated on This by the way This by the way So we gotta read from bottom to up because it's a Facebook archive I don't want to try it, you're gonna try it, fight me No I'm not, I will fight you, yes you are Oh yes so lucky. I ended up with a woman who won't try something everyone else tries. I've never fucked a woman blank. Oh, now you're trying to guilt trip me. That's not fair. Yes, absolutely. I don't want to. You quite obviously wanted to leave me over me saying no to. And yet you're still trying to turn this around. Before you were up for... Before you were up for trying... Uh, up for trying. Now you're just flat out saying no. I've always said no, but you don't listen. It's a letdown. This conversation with you is a letdown. Good, I'm glad I let you down. Because now I know where we stand. On how far you'd go for me versus how far I would go for you. <laughs> this is about sex. And not about just sex. This isn't just about sex, chat. This isn't just about sex. Because she's willing to have sex. She's not willing to have aim. <laughs> most likely. Hello, German woman. Please don't ban me. Hi, why would I ban you? What is in those messages could be considered our word here in Sweden? Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 because he's uh, he wants to do it unconsensually, yeah. Blank is going somewhere for you, so I'm not allowed to say that I'm uncomfortable to do it. You don't have to. God forbid you ever try to uh, blank me without my consent. Probably this just says fuck. But know that I won't die without trying it at least once. This is such a weird way to put it. This is such a fucking weird way to put it. Maybe it will be after you die. What does this even mean? And to him, he's implying me saying no, this one thing is the same as me saying no to absolutely everything else. So you're going to fuck someone else then? Maybe at some point? So what are you trying to say? Maybe it will be after you die. But it's going to happen. That you're going to drag this out for as long as possible until you decide to leave me? 
I just don't see the point of relationship that doesn't try things they're uncomfortable with. If it ain't this, it can't be. It can be something else one day, bro. A uh, bro. Uh, bro. A uh, just bro. He could just go to a girl for money if he's so obsessed with it. Not every person is into the same kings you are. Yeah, I'm so confused. What am I watching? But just uh, having a quick look over the fruit situation. I forgot you're going to chicken out of that too. Because you love not experiencing anything for yourself. Being scared is no joke. It isn't. But at some point you need to have courage. When I'm ready on my terms. If you're not going to die. What are you scared of? On your terms. Nothing will ever happen. I wasn't aware you were such a baby. It's a wonder we managed to have sex. It's not fair, considered how scared you were of nature. You're right, it isn't. Society says we are forced to stick with one woman, yet she won't support me in something she's not comfortable with. I would give you shit, but that's about it. Right, you wouldn't say no, eh? We are not equals like I assumed we were. I will put my money where my mouth is, but make me feel like I have to be forced to do something completely uncomfortable with and stressed out about for the sake of this relationship. That's okay to you? You're fucked up. Telling you leave me because you cannot provide something I want. Telling me you're going to cheat on me unless I do it, that's fucked. That's exactly what you just said to me. Quit pinning this around. You look like an absolute dickhole. And you do too. You know what scares me? Being poor. Yet I don't mind being 2000 in the hole because I would do it for you. Easy for you. Call it peer pressure. Call it what you want. But you cannot provide. Yes, you are being selfish. So now you're throwing everything in here that's completely irrelevant. Because if you won't give it up, you'll leave me. I'm not talking to you. I'm closing Facebook and getting on my work. Go to bed. You've upset me. Uh, so yeah, this guy, by the way, the guy is in blue if you haven't figured that one out yet. You disappointed me too, keep an eye out for changes in my behavior, then I won't go the extra mile for you if you want for me. And I'll resign my statement of love to you. Someone who loves you won't deprive you of something, they'll at least let you have work around, but you won't even do that. Uh, so we'll not need to find more in detail and not go too far into deeper, but it's covered under article under for indecent sexual acts, okay? I don't want to deviate too far on it though. What does it say? Like a summary that you can only have missionary if you're in the army? Is that it? If it ain't missionary, it ain't authorized by army regulations. I'ma let my fear control me now. Bro just wanted to be <laughs> Imagine if... Bro, imagine if it's the actually that way around. Imagine if that's actually that way around. Why would you talk this over text is my problem? Because uh, they're in a long distance relationship. I really may as well be dead. <laughs> there it is. I really may as well be dead. What a pointless existence I'll be living with you if you're afraid to go out of your comfort zone. For anal, most likely. For anal. He's... he's... He's being quote-unquote suicidal over anal. Would you rather see me dead or fucking another woman before you do anything? Bro! This is so messed up! This is so fucking messed up. He's literally turning the point around on her. As in, you are forcing me to cheat on you. Ever since the morning where you ultimately wanted to leave me to prove how serious you are, I've been contemplating suicide again. Because at the end of the day, no matter how normal my life appears to be, it will always come crashing and burning around me. Nothing will remain of what I had hoped hope in. Nothing I care about survives the test of time. So if I don't stick around, I won't be on this earth. But that's a decision I'll make for another time. I'm done with living. It's the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over. The suffering of my heart doesn't end. So I put up with it and cry in public or go away quietly. 
no it doesn't, but if you're not going to do anything about it, why are you so worried? Either way, nothing's going to change. The only thing different now is that I'm aware where I stand in this relationship. At the very bottom. Um, I am aware that you won't go the extra mile for me. I am aware that you're base as basic of a woman as it gets. If you're fine giving me the bare minimum in this relationship, just know that you don't deserve anything extra I have done for you in the past. I'll leave it at that because I've already had the same discussion before in the past. And this is over a single sex act. It's rather petty. Literally over a single sex act. Most likely I know chat. Most likely. It goes beyond that. I was prepared to give up my family for you last year. She was literally prepared to literally move in. And he's made her give up the family after too. Because this could be anything. Yeah, and if you choose them over me, I would say the same thing. Wow. Don't forget, I'll still leave you if you choose not to have kids with me in the future. If we aren't working together towards our common goals, then this isn't a relationship. If I can't provide you with my presence over summer because I can't afford to, then I borrow money from Abank. If you don't want to give up blank, then I'll try it with someone else. That's how that works. Or you just put yourself in a position where you are open-minded. I only get one woman in the world. <sighs> you see, chat? You see, chat? This is the guy that all these people down here, all the people... Sorry, a lot of people, it's not all the people, a lot of them here show support. A lot of them here show support. But a lot of people are still saying she deserved this. With no proof of cheating, by the way. Yes. There was no proof of cheating apart from a screenshot where she apparently emotionally cheated. Which happened, by the way, in a time that they weren't even together. Here's a thought. He got pegged, did the pegging in the army and wanted to do it with her too to see if he's gay <laughs> or no. I know, crazy idea, but what if? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think since a chat, I think since it's autonomy of her body, I believe it is more likely anal. Could even be oral. Okay? Could even just be oral. But most likely anal. Because missionary. Right? You can sell to a missionary. So, yeah. Even living in a dorm during uni is nothing out of the ordinary. Did some funny business happen, maybe, but nobody knows that. Yeah, I don't know, man. Accidentally did not know it was so good. Oh. Music is very loud. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. The music just got louder on its own there. <laughs> um... You're... You all both are the problem. That's true. Both is... <laughs> I found this photo of you. A pronoun and bio person. I don't even know if she has her pronouns in the bio. And does it even matter? She does. Does it matter? Why does it matter? It doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. Let's look at the quotes. How a lot of you dumb fucks are sounding right now. Trying to justify domestic abuse. Be so goddamn for real. I can excuse abuse, but I draw the line of cheating. You can excuse abuse? This literally. Literally this. To all the harassers of fruit for all these years. Good job. You've been defending an absolute scumbag because of some fortune garbage you freaks never let go of. All that hate and she's still thriving. But y'all never actually even thought for yourselves and got to know the girl. These are the people that say, of course, you have dietarian pronouns. Yeah. Coming home from the military. This is just so uncalled for, man. Like, I despise cheating. I absolutely fucking despise cheating, chat. I hate it. I hate it with a... 
It's disgusting. It's disgusting, it makes me angry. I don't think you should excuse cheating, but each to their own abuse, though, no excuse. Yeah, I'm not going to excuse cheating either. If she cheated, yes, that's fucking awful. It's awful, and I'm not gonna go out and say she's a wonderful of a person uh, and didn't deserve no fucking hate or de uh, did deserve it or whatever. I don't... To me, it's completely two separate things. If she cheated, okay. Sucks. Bad. Really bad. And then there's the issue that she did get uh, fucking abused over a year, over two years? I don't lo know how long they were together, but they were together for quite some time. If cheating isn't Pokemon and giving your friends Pokemon, then... Okay, but not in relationships, yeah. He can react, thanks to the follow. If people really be defending someone threatening to our fruit and trap her in domestic abuse, I know what an abuser is like because I nearly lost a friend to... from an abuse, and 90% of this... 90 page document is just pure receipts. Yes, very true. Very fucking true. Anyone defending her be like, I love NTR. Okay, man. 1113 TR, thanks for the follow. Okay, man. Uh, people just don't understand that it's two separate things. So you cheated on your husband with multiple people and decided to act surprised when he started hating you? <sighs> people that just don't fucking know what's going on. People just don't fucking know what's going on. Okay, that's a pretty long one, but... Okay. I cannot explain how this really... Uh... Cheats on husband who was on military deployment. Husband finds out and leaves her. Mm, actually, I'm the victim. Every single time, bro. The... I hate it when people have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. I really fucking hate it when people have no fucking idea what they're talking about. If you don't know what you're fucking talking about, don't fucking talk about it. Simple as. Simple as, and the only reason I'm talking about this now is because I literally educated myself on the matter. The only reason I am talking about this is because I looked into it. This- this is stupid, this is ridiculous. Ugh. I think we'll stop talking about it here. I'm happy to see that uh, she's doing well despite her fucking emotional abuse going on that she had experienced. Um, she wanted to put the chapter behind her, so she put it out as a final oh, fuck you to all the haters, says everything. She 100% was um, prepared to see the backlash. I would say that she was prepared to see the backlash, so I'm ho I hope she's doing fine. Feel bad for Camilla though. I do feel bad for Camilla too though. Like so many people are harassing the people that said they are supporting Fruit and uh, they're so happy for Fruit that she finally put the ship behind her and whatnot. Um, people are getting harassed for just saying, I'm glad to see that you're no longer getting abused. <laughs> Everyone who replied got hate, yeah. Everyone who replied got hate, Kaiso and Zui. Yeah, Kaiso made a post and we told you made her deleted, right? Right? I think so. Either way, I think that will be it. I think that will be it from this section. I just... I just CBA with it further than this, you know? It's, it's such a headache. It's been going on for days and days and days. To the point where I literally... Went ahead to educate myself on it to tell you guys about it. So many drummers, so does, yeah. Yeah, yeah.